Thank you for joining us. I'm Mary Yanez, Director of the Senior Adult Program at the El Paso Community College. And as you know, we have great guests for you today. Uh, we want to introduce you to some instructors that are teaching in our program. And, and uh, I haven't seen Irene for, for a while because she's busy with her students in her classes that she teaches at the Northwest Campus. And she teaches, would you believe, conversational Spanish for beginners. So I want you to meet her. So thank you for being with us, Irene. It's my pleasure. Thank you for asking. And I can call you Ms. Serrano. I can call you Maestra. I can call you <laughs> Irene, right? Yes, of course. Tell me a little bit about yourself and, and uh, your younger years, your career. Uh, career. What you mean? Well, I worked 25 years in El Paso Elementary School System at Roberts Elementary, which I miss. But now I'm so happy teaching seniors. It's different, yes, but I love it. And um, I've always loved teaching. I've always loved the connection. And now with the seniors, it's so, so amazing because I'm learning from them and they're learning from me and we have fun doing it. We're wonderful. I understand you attended early in the years, Robert's School, but then you ended up teaching at Robert's School when yes. they closed um, for many my, years. My dad had a grocery store right there on Donovan Drive, and then they built Robert's Elementary. So I walked to elementary school right when it was built. And then later on, after, after um, I graduated and I went to college, I went to Roberts Elementary to teach. Oh my gosh, and that's for amazing. For 25 years, and then I was there until it closed. Wonderful. It closed a couple of years ago. So you attended Coronado and you Coronado and, High School, and yes. Beautiful. Graduated from Coronado. We like for people to, to, to know our instructors and the caliber of, of, of instructors that we hire to teach our seniors. Um, are more seniors retiring in the United States these days? Yes, they are. And I have quite a few students in the class from New York, from Maine, uh, West uh, Oregon, California, Minnesota, all over. And they love El Paso. They love the food, the people, and they want to learn the language. The language of Spanish. Yes. Yes, so it's amazing language. who you're going to meet in class. Oh, it's beautiful. And it's a beautiful uh, friendship. They, their social yes. uh, ex you know, time expands, meeting new people. And so you're getting retirees from all over the country to take our classes. And yes, that's and they're very committed. They get there early, and they socialize with each other, and they practice their Spanish. Spanish. Oh, it's just amazing. I love it. It's wonderful that they love our culture because in this border, Borderland, what we call the borderland uh, here in El Paso. You know, people come back even after they leave, they have careers, they go to other, uh, you know, e even other countries, other states. They end up coming back because of the people. Yes. It's amazing yes. that they retire here. And the weather. They love and the, the weather. weather. Yes. <laughs> we love our weather. You're yes. right. Uh, you're right about that. What, what would be a, a sample of a lesson that you would teach? Right now, we're learning different phrases in Spanish. They want to be able to speak in Spanish in the grocery store, at the restaurant. They want to be able to order in Spanish. And they're reading paragraphs in Spanish, and we're translating sentence by sentence, and they're doing fantastic. We're conjugating verbs, but mostly interacting with each other, asking, OK, what are you doing this afternoon? ¿Qué vas a hacer esta tarde? Vamos a ir al cine. We're going to the movies. Interact with each other and learn the language so it'll stay with us. But I tell them, you have to practice. You can't just do it once a week. You must practice. And there's no wrong for learning mm -hmm. how to pronounce language. I, I tried learning Italian, mm -hmm. and, and I don't remember if I went to the French class as well many years ago. Mm -hmm. And it's hard to get that accent, but it's okay, as yes. long as you're understood. Yes. Well, we're learning the sounds. Right away, We first lesson, we learn the sounds, and we're continuing it. And so th the language is there, the sounds are there, and they're communicating And one Spanish. that I remember, well, that we know, <laughs> burrito, with the burrito. double R, the R, the R you know. R so we use yes. our tongue. Yes. And, and, yes. And, and lots of uh, exercises so that yes. they can start loosening up uh, when you speak 
German, I would imagine you have some people that we know German. We do have a student that ha uh, speaks German and a, a student that speaks Italian, and they notice the a lot of Spanish words are derived. They're derived. The derision. You can hear the different sounds and the different words from the different languages. Yes, and so it's easy to learn. Yes, uh, from whether you're tra learning learning Spanish and you, your basic language is Italian. Yes. There are a lot of similar Beautiful. words, you know, very, very good. And so we learned about the derivatives of words, Latin, uh -huh. from the Latin or, yes. you know, and, and that's how I, I took Latin when I was in, in I elementary Latin. school. I took Latin. I think <laughs> in the Catholic school they used yes. to teach us Latin. And, and that's how I learned about Spanish. Oh, okay. uh, not very many English words, but Spanish yes. for sure. Oh, my gosh. So, <laughs> you know, I, you don't make it too hard. You don't have any testing or anything like that. We had one test online, and they're going to we're going to review it this week. But it's on Esther and Ser, and we're having a lot of fun learning it. But we're practicing. I said this is a test, so don't Google it. Let's see how you do, and next week we'll go over it. But we're learning from each other. It's fun learning. And they help each other. Oh yes, everybody helps each other, and we laugh at our mistakes. <laughs> And we applaud our successes. Uh, yeah, you celebrate your successes. Yes, That's it's wonderful. Beautiful. And you're le learning from each other. So don't be afraid to come to the beginners uh, Spanish, conversational Spanish yes. class. Um, because it is conversational, you put a lot of that uh, yes. student, students working with students, you partner them up. Yes. And, and so you do a lot of that, which is, is really great. I understand you also are going to do a, a field trip this semester. Yes, we're going to Computer Lab. Uh -huh. Our students love to go, come up front and talk and okay. explain to each other. So I said, OK, the last session, we're going to have a PowerPoint. And we're going to choose from one theme uh, span from our Spanish culture. And so they're all excited about that. And some know PowerPoint. And they want to teach the other student, students PowerPoint. So we're going to make a trip to, to Computer Lab and teach each other and have our PowerPoint ready for the last day of school. Wow, yes. they're so important yes. to learn yes. how the computers and how technology is Amen. helping us to learn yes. languages. And we just had a little conversation with one of our computer instructors uh, while we were waiting to come on for the interview. And he was telling you about an app. And that is a, an app, I don't the remember. The Google Translate. OK. The Google Translate. And all you have to do is put your phone on it and, and just uh, take a picture of it. And right away, it gives you any language. It translates any language. So That's if fantastic. you see a sign and maybe you're uh, someplace in Mexico and you don't know what that sign you says, go, you yes. just point to it. Oh, we're going to have I've to ask him when he comes I've never used it, but I need, to, I need to use it. <laughs> Absolutely. So you're learning yes, I am. as well all I the am. time. Yes, you, you, how long is your class, and where is the class being taught? The class is every Wednesday morning from 10 to 12 at Northwest Campus. And it's amazing. The, the time just goes by so quickly. The students don't even want to leave. Was, is it's time to leave. <laughs> They have a oh. lot of fun. We have a lot of fun together. That's great. And the people can register. Seniors can register 55 years or older. The classes, there's no tuition. Uh, and they could still register if, they, if they're a new student. I just want to say you can go to um, the admissions office at any campus. If you live in the Northwest, Northwest campus would be close, Rio Grande, Valle Verde, Mission El Paso, Trans Mountain. You can go to any campus. And you can go to the admissions office, and, and you can register. And they give you an ID number, OK, when you fill out that admissions yes. form. Once you have an ID number, they can call our office, because classes have already started yes. in September. But will you take students of even course. now? Of course. Okay. Anyone is welcome. And we, we always go back. We always review. We review the sounds, everything. So they won't be behind. We yes. always help each other out. That's and we that's, have fun. That's wonderful. Um, how many how many students in your class? Right now we have fourteen at the most. But please come. Yes. We have so much fun together, and everyone has loved the camar camaraderie, the the social. Uh, 
learning from each other, being able to use our physical and our mental, everything as a senior. We never stop learning. Never we never stop learning. And especially languages. It's going to retard any Alzheimer's that might be, you know, hovering around us. And that's one of my biggest Hopefully fears. Hopefully not. Yes, <laughs> that, that we can retard that and we can, uh, you know, not, not suffer through those kinds of serious, serious um, illnesses. But, you know, you're doing a great job. How long have you been teaching now with the Senior Adult Program? I started in 2021, so it's two years, and it is amazing. I've been nonstop summer school also, and I love it. Do I you invite it. other retirees, as you're a retired teacher, Yes, I to do. come and join us and teach? Yes, other teachers have attended also, and oh. it's beautiful. And I've just met, uh, I just saw a couple of teachers that I taught with at Roberts Elementary, and they want to start in January. So it's, the word is getting around. Great. Please come. That's wonderful. Please the come. semester registration will start in December, early December, and uh, the classes again will start in the spring, in January. So we're giving everybody a heads up. Mm -hmm. But we're also telling them that for this particular class, Irene Serrano, our instructor, our teacher, <laughs> uh, who teaches the <laughs> conversational Spanish for beginners, I want to I want to emphasize that, yes. not to be afraid, is not to yes. advance. It's just fun. And, uh, you know, in discussing um, the, uh, the, the traditions, the food, yes. uh, I was just thinking about sampling las conchas, the, the pan dulce. Pan dulce, the yes. Los, mm, yes. The marranitos, you know, which is yes. kind of like gingerbread. Yes, you know? yes. And so just tasting, uh, you know, all kinds of foods and... And, and traditions, and I like the idea that you have different themes. Dia de los Muertos coming up. Yes. That is a, a traditional yes, celebration. Yes, it is. And last year, we set up a little altar, and different students brought different things for the altar, and then I took the bread, the bread, and they, t they sampled it. They had never tried the bread. Uh, Pan de muertos. Yes, huh? yes. I had never tried it. Uh -huh. <laughs> and so we enjoyed that. And then for, for Christmas, right before Christmas, we're going to sample, no, it was after Christmas, sample the ros, roscas. The roscas. Yes. Yeah. They didn't know what that was. Wow. And so a lot of these PowerPoints have the different cultures in there, and we're learning from that. They're learning. Wow, yes. that is amazing. I'm glad they're having fun. We are. And that you're having fun yes, teaching because I sure it am. looks like you're, you know, an amazing sure teacher. I love it. Coming up with great ideas. And of course, you can still join the Beginners uh, Span Conversational Spanish class. If you can just go to any campus, if you're a new student, fill out the admissions and then get an idea and give, call, give our office a call. I'm going to give them the number. Thank and the you. number to our senior adult program office is 915. 831-7801, and we'll help you to join this class. And uh, so just don't miss it. You know, you just uh, don't know what you're looking, uh, you know, or missing. You don't know what you're missing, and you'll be very glad to what you're looking for. Thank you so much. Thank you. Ms. Serrano, Thank you for, for joining me. us. Thank you. Um, come back again. Let's see if our viewers uh, listen to us, <laughs> and we'll be calling. Hopefully so. Yes. I'm yes. looking forward to seeing a lot of students. We'll have fun together learning. Very good. Well, thank you for being here. Thank you. And we're going to continue our Mature Living show with more guests. So we'll be right back. Don't you go away, okay? Next month, I'll be nine. I'm going to the big game. I'm getting married soon. But sadly, they may never see these milestones. At least one person has died every single day on Texas roads since 2000. Every day. A child. A parent. A spouse. Doesn't come home. When you drive today, stay focused, obey laws, drive responsibly, end the streak of daily deaths. You can do it, Texas. Let's end the streak. Well, thank you for staying with us. We want to continue our Mature Living show with another great instructor. And I say great because they're teaching for our senior adult program. They teach seniors, but they're also professionals that are in the community and have taken an interest in helping our elders to uh, become 
Well, in this case, um, more knowledgeable of technology and how technology can be extremely helpful in their quality of life and connecting. I like that word, getting mm -hmm. seniors connected, you know. Thank you for being with us. We've invited, of course, our uh, Dr. Carlos Rincon. He's a PhD, an engineer, and of course, loyal, loyal mm -hmm. teacher of and friend of seniors. Thank you for joining us. Well, it's my pleasure and it's a privilege to teach the seniors because that's the one audience where they crave knowledge and they don't mind you repeating yourself. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Right. Right. And, and that's how you probably test your patience as well because re repetition is so important for seniors. And, and, and also in a lesson, from one week to another, or from one class to another, you you you, re, you cover it, you... Um, reinforce. Reinforce, yes. Yes, ma'am. Uh, tell me a little bit about yourself, Dr. Rincon. Um, I'm an El Pasoan for life, I, I could say that. And uh, it's interesting how a lot of students that go through high school and then college, they want to get out of El Paso, but they always come back, right? Do, um, yes. But uh, my career has been specifically in El Paso in the manufacturing en uh, engineering community. Um, I've done... Uh, aerospace electronics, uh, pharmaceuticals, and but the one thing that connects me to you all is um, instructing and, and teaching. teaching. Um, as an engineer, I was a process engineer. One of my, uh, I guess, one of my topics that I like I love to to teach is uh, technology, and because that's ever changing and that's always that's always a current topic. It doesn't yes. go away. It's only advancing, such yes. as like. Uh, AI, yes. artificial intelligence, and stuff like that. That's another big one that's a so big we, talk oh right yeah. now. It's a yeah, hot topic right now. Hot topics, exactly. Um, but uh, one of the things that has drawn me to the community college is th the fact that you're helping older adults to continue, and that's part of the continuing education program. And it's one of the best kept secrets in El Paso <laughs> where you can get a free education and just self-improvement. I think that's great for all senior adults because um, as we grow older, we need to maintain the muscle, the, the mind, right, you could say? That's so right. we can slow down uh, the effects of dementia or Alzheimer's. And when we do challenge that part of the brain by taking on very complicated topics such as technology, it does, they've shown that that does help slow down the symptoms of uh, yes. acquiring Alzheimer's, which is a big topic a in our big, community. A lot of fear in that and it's debilitating because it changes a person's life completely. And yes. it's very difficult for, for families, for the families. So yes. we need to stay active uh, mentally, physically, Absolutely. Uh, spiritually and, and stay engaged. And this is a, the, so what, those are the reasons why learning computer skills is so important in, in health, in good health. And it's right. part of our, our health plan and keeping up with technology. Many seniors are being uh, gifted phones. Oh yes. Uh, from their sons or daughters professionals or, and, and they, they get a new phone, okay, what do I do with my old phone? I'm gonna give it to grandma, I'm gonna give it to grandpa. And then they get it and then what happens? They don't know how to use it. You know, you hit a perfect topic because that's one of my pet peeves is not showing somebody how to fish. Just giving them something, you know. That, a rod. That, yeah, that phrase where it's like, here, I set it up for you, but they were not instructed on how they did that. And see, that's my passion is to always show somebody how and why things and how things work. So the main thing that we do in our classes is we're going to learn how to do it for ourselves. I'm going to show them how to find the answer on the Internet. Make Google your friend, right? And you can teach yourself anything. YouTube, you can teach yourself any topic on YouTube. So my thing is, I'm gonna show you how to learn. And that's, mm -hmm. that's what I went to college for. It was, you yeah. could ask, what did you study? They taught me how to teach myself, how to learn. That's, that's How to do research, how yeah, to that's, that's, find the answer. Right, and exactly. And get the help that you need. How awesome is that? I, I love this right. class that you designed, and, um, and it's titled Simple Steps for Using Technology. Right. Uh, simple steps for using <laughs> technology. I love that title. Right. I've attended your classes uh, off and on, right. visiting and, and uh, the way you teach and how the students are attentive. And, and 
Tell me how you designed that course. Okay, there's a phrase that says, teach me like I'm a six-year-old, right? Okay. And so if someone can teach you like you're a six-year-old, they understand the topic. They really understand it. So one of the, <laughs> one of the things that, uh, that engineers get slighted for is that they can talk a good game. They can show you how smart they are. But that doesn't help somebody that's trying to learn. There's a difference between that, right? Just shooting off some knowledge. So if you can break it down into simple steps and very s simple ideas, and they, if you, they really understand it, that gives me pleasure when I see a student that was something that was so complicated become so simple. And that's how that class was designed. And you know how designed. I describe that, that feeling, the light bulb, boom, the light bulb lights in it. Now I get it. Every instructor, that's, that's the price to see a student the light bulb to go off. That's yes. the prize. Wonderful. Yeah. Um, you know, we need to take advantage of our, our program because there's no tuition. Oh, fantastic. And they're offered yeah. at the campuses at, at a variety of, of locations throughout the city in the computer labs. Yes. And, um, and so, you know, we've got the facilities. We are waiting for you to come and register. Uh, and all you have to be is 55 years and older. To me, that's a youngster. Oh, you know? yeah. That's the new 30, I guess, right? <laughs> yes. And then as we go older, it's like the it's new like, whatever. But Like you see a police officer and he's trying to give you a ticket or a warning. And aren't you supposed to be, you know, at home at 10 o'clock? You know? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> no, I'm active. <laughs> <laughs> so, so it's really important, you know. Tell me uh, about the classes that you teach, uh, the, the variety of classes that also we offer. Okay. Um, we do teach, uh, I teach social media. And the, the way I go about teaching that course, it's an overview. So you can see all the predominant platforms for social media, like um, we have Facebook, Telegram. Now we have what used to be Twitter, now it's X. Now we have oh. right Instagram. And what I wanna do is I wanna give a little bit, like a taste of what each one of those um, social media platforms, how it functions, how you would you know set up a profile, and that's so important because all social media profiles, they are all designed to be public. And oh, okay. you need to go back in there and change it to private, depending on how you feel about it. Do you want to be more private, keep your life more private? I don't think private? I've done that. Oh my gosh. Come, come to my class. Yeah, I'm going to go to your class. Right? There's, yeah, we do the little security checkup. Um, but, you know, the one thing that differentiates um, this demographics of older adults is that we grew up in a time where we were more private. Younger, younger uh, adults or kids, they don't care about that. They just want to show you what they're eating at any point in time, where they're at, what, you know, their personal life. And, and then our, you're on vacation, and then they're looking for people that are on vacation so they can go to your house. Correct. <laughs> there you go. So, you, yeah, so you, if you understand how older adults feel, then you can show them how they can still participate but be more in control. And that's also what we teach in digital devices, is that you just get a phone, but it, it seems so complicated. So we have to break it down into pieces, right? In your settings. And understand that all the apps have permissions to your microphone and your camera. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if you ever remember people being made fun of older adults putting a piece of tape over the camera. Oh yeah. They were not that wrong because yes, there's times where third parties could be oh looking it right through the camera if you have given it permission so i show oh, my gosh. older adults you can take control of your life go into the app settings go into the permissions and say nope only when i Not use enough. you or never and now they can feel comfortable like now i i can use that app i can use that and it's not controlling me i control technology technology doesn't control me yeah digital devices you digital teach devices that. yes tell me about that um so we have to uh, go with the approach of you cannot just teach people that have Androids, which is any manufacturer that is other than Apple. Like Samsung. Correct. And then there's the iPhone family, right? The people that have iPhones. Apple. Right. Apple. If it's made by Apple, they're all iPhones. So each one has its own individual settings and gestures and so forth. So we break up the class um, for both sides, right? Good. And also any other devices like uh, tablets or iPads or laptops. And they can bring that to the class. And so it's a little challenging if we have a, oh, like, yeah. you know, more than 20 students in the class because we try to do one on one. But we typically set aside before and after class for one on one. Um, and there's a lot of need for that. Um, again, 
there, uh, the level of expertise is from I know nothing to I know a little something. You know, I like the way you design your lesson plans. Uh, and I remember in your class, you said, yes. does anybody have any questions or anything that, I'd, that you want to know? So what happens after they tell you that? So Mike, you have to have a base baseline for a curriculum, right? You have to have some kind of order. But then every year, every semester, the class actually evolves. It changes. It's in flux because I receive um, questions from the students and that becomes a lesson. So it's ever changing. It's always keeping up to date. And so if a student repeats my class, I say, take it again. It's, you may not see the same thing that I taught the previous semester. So and also I tell them, please tell your friends, tell your neighbors. It's it's a fantastic, the best kept secret in El Paso, right? right. One of the things that all instructors and employees for El Paso Community College, we have to go through cyber security training once a year. And so with that in mind, I said, what's good for me is also good for my students. Yes. So I take snippets of that and I, I do at least uh, one class, sometimes two classes every semester for every class, it doesn't matter which class, and we do cybersecurity week. And with that, it has all the new information on scams, um, password, passphrase protection, how to create it, um, why do we have passwords and passphrases? Um, also, um, showing them how to uh, set up their privacy settings and their phones, their apps, um, their social media uh, platforms, all that, which is very, very important because uh, a, a lot of times when we know nothing about a topic, guess what happens? We either do something or we do nothing. <laughs> and when we do nothing, we set up ourselves for failure or we can be attacked more easily and readily by the scammers and hackers. And we go over what is a, hammer, a scammer and a hacker uh, and, and things of that nature, wow. yes. So. I think we've enticed our audience to come to our free classes uh, at the Community College Senior Adult Program. You can register. I want to give our our office number where they can call and get more information. Where registration will start again for the spring semester in December. Yes. Early December. They can register for your classes, Dr. Uh, Carlos Rincon. In case you want to know, you can always call 915-831-7801 and ask about what classes is Dr. Rincon teaching that I want to join his class. And you can do that. Definitely you can call in and ask what classes you'll be teaching in the in the spring. Do you happen to to know right now off the... Well, at this point in time, um, I know we're going to be in the Northwest campus. That's the first time I've... I've taught Trans Mountain. I've taught Valle Verde. I've taught here at the ASC campus. And now the first time is going to be at the Northwestern campus. And one of the things I do enjoy is that we... The instructors do are, are mobile so that we can... Um, reach out to the different communities in El Paso because we have how many campuses do we have in El Paso? Five so and plus the, the ASC six. So it's great opportunity, right? Yes, it's either excellent. East, west, north, south. I mean, we have it covered, right? We have it all covered, the El Paso area. So, so this is West Side. Yes. Yeah, so that will be the uh, digital devices, and that will be during the week. Okay. And then on the weekends, we'll be doing social media and simple steps here at the ASC campus. Thank you for being with us, Dr. Rincon. My privilege. Thank you for, for taking here. the time. And I know that we're going to get more students. That's fantastic. Thank you. And I guess that's it for this week. And we'll see you all next week with more special guests. Mm -hmm.